So you may, so you may, I can't say it. <laughs> so you may, I can't, I just can't do it. I can't say it. I want to keep it real with you guys as much as possible, you know? So let's just fix it. I'll show you in a time lapse because it, are you kidding me? Tony, get out, captain's in there. Come on, I know you want a drink. There's, there's tanks everywhere in this house. Welcome back to MD Fish Tanks guys, I'm MD and these are my fish tanks. So you may well remember a few weeks back we set up this custom cube aquarium. Now it's looking disgusting isn't it? Like. It's looking terrible, but let me tell you what exactly has happened and what we can do to fix it. So the issue we've got, right? This tank was set up for me or built for me by RJS Custom Aquariums. It's fantastic, as you can see, it's great. Oh, we've got a little Christmas stuff next to it. It's a great aquarium. It's just that the light isn't massively powerful, which is fine because it's a better fish. You don't need a massively powerful light necessarily. Uh, the issue we've got though, plants that are low down are not growing and are melting and as a result causing masses of organics in the water column. Masses of organics in the water column means algae, even with water changes. So to be fair, you can see the water level's gone down quite a bit, but I have been scooping out, topping up, scooping up, out and topping up. I haven't kept on top of it really because I knew I was going to be changing it. So what we need to do here, many of you know I've got lots of no filter tanks that don't have any flow. I don't get algae in those tanks because it's a decent level of light, meaning that all the plants survive. In this tank, what I need to do is remove this big rock. It's, just, it's stopping the flow and you need good flow if you haven't got good light because you'll get waste organics collecting at the bottom from the plants. Or, or you can just put in easy growing plants that don't require high light. And that is what I wanna do. I wanna take it out, everything out, I'll start again, make it much more simple, make it much more open, and just really rely on a lot more plants rather than this big piece of hardscape in the middle, which is not really adding a huge amount to it. Uh, I could do better than this, but it's all right, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm always saying to you guys, mistakes will be made, and as long as you're happy with fixing them, then it's not a problem. That's what we're gonna do now. I wanna keep it real with you guys as much as possible, you know? So let's just fix it. And also, as you can see here, Captain Redbeard likes to pretend he's dead a lot of the time. <laughs> really healthy though, everything's good. The tank's healthy, it's just a mess. So let's sort it out. Right, well that's the water all drained out. Now the only thing I want to keep from an escape is the gravel because it's all sort of got beneficial bacteria in it and it's sort of gone through its diatomy state, well, sort of. And also I want to keep these moss covered stones. I think they'll look really good, but the rest is all going. Start again, I think that'll be for the best. That's all the cleanish gravel from the front out. The back part here, look, has actually got a load of nutrition and aqua soil in it. So I'll probably just mix that all in look, together, keep that as the base layer, so that'll be really good for the next gate. Um, but now I want to take this filter out, clean it in the water that was in the tank, because you don't want to kill all the bacteria that's in the sponge in there. I mean, there's not a huge amount, the majority of it's going to be in here, but might as well do it in the tank water. And then we can get started again on the next scape. Ah, and I forgot to say one more thing I want to do, paint the back black because I love a black background. I don't like it clear, like it clear. So that's the first job to do, paint the back.
So I just want to cap this nutrient layer at the bottom with a bit of this fine sand just to make sure it gets locked down, just in case it was leaching any you know, nutrients into the water column. I don't think it was, but better to be safe than sorry. That's in, just a thin little layer, and then I've got the original gravel I took out to put back on top. Right guys, I've decided that I want to upgrade the light a bit because that light there is perfect for sort of someone who wants to keep some fish, you know? But I want more than that. I want to do a full on nature aquarium cube because I'm not satisfied otherwise. So I've got a spare 300, well, 310, uh, you know, strip LED that I can put across the top from all pond solutions. That will make this really bright, but then I can add, you know, some floating plants and full on do a full-on nature aquarium scape, which is what I really want to do. So let's do that now. There we go, look at that. <laughs> yeah, so that's a lot of light. So what I've done is pushed it right to the back, which makes sense, because that's where the gap is for it, look. Um, and I think it ties in quite well. You can't massively notice it, but it really does upgrade the light. I managed, I'll try and get that to tuck behind in some way, actually, I think, because I don't even want to see wires. <laughs> but yeah, so that's cool. Now I can go full on nature aquarium mode, chuck in loads of plants, you know, in like a, a nice way, obviously. And we can give Captain Redbeard a really nice home. So I've been into my uh, rock store and I've picked out all of this sort of was well, dark and grey, I guess, black and grey, dark and grey, black and grey lava rock. So I think that'll make a really nice border. But the only problem is, I don't think that gravel sand is really gonna match it that well. Uh, so I think I'll just use that to uh, create the planting area behind, uh, top out of a bit of aqua soil maybe, and then use a different sand for the foreground with though a dashing of it for texture because it's got some really nice shades and colors in there. It'll add, texture to it but uh, on its own I don't think it's the right colour to match. You need a weird sort of contrast, a yellowy more contrast with the black lava rock I think so that's what I'm going to do. Right so I know what I want to do, I know what I want to do. Okay so the footprint on this tank is obviously not very large is it? So what I'm going to want to do is is keep the hardscape all the way to the back and that opens up the front area and I've seen an old video from um, Boost Plant actually on YouTube. Uh, go take a look at the original, I'll leave a link to it. Black lava rock basically goes right at the back but first of all we need to put down more gravel to act as a base for the lava rock to sit on because you don't want it all wobbling around in that because it'll still break this glass if it falls over so more gravel than that. Well, I was just about to start filming and <laughs> lo and behold, <laughs> bless her, look, she's looking for some water, but there's none in there because obviously I'm building, but yeah, it'll be in there soon. Come on, Tiny, out you come. It's not in there. <laughs> right, so yeah, so the, the lava rock's in. That looks, it looks really not that great at the moment because obviously I haven't got anything else in there, but it, it will come alive, trust me. Um, I've just plonked that wood in just to see how it looks and actually really like how that is already. So I'm gonna get that wood out, cover it in some moss I've got. That's older, it's the same stuff, it's both spider wood, but that's older so it looks sort of that color, but it doesn't matter. Once we've got moss on it all, it won't, it won't make a difference. But yeah, let's get the moss wrapped around. I like to put the moss on and then wrap it with cotton. I'll show you in a time lapse because it... Are you kidding me? <laughs> Tony, get out, Captain's in there. Come on, I know you want a drink. There's... There's tanks everywhere in this house. <laughs> Got to pick this one. Yeah, okay, so I'll get this wrapped in moss and then we can carry on with the foreground as well then. Okay, so I've, I've wrapped as much as I can there. You can see 
I didn't really need to show you that, but you know, it's just a bit of cotton thread wrapped around and then a knot tied, job done. With some of these areas like here, you can see I've used this piece of wood before where I've used some super glue. Uh, I want to cover those up, obviously. It's going to be from this angle. Uh, <laughs> so I will use super glue again in this area because it's a lot harder to wrap it around all of this with all the bits in the way. Plus there's going to be some Anubius and Boost Philander on there as well. So I'll just use glue for this bit because you won't see it anyway because, look at that. Oh, I'm banging it, so unprofessional. Got some really nice, this is Anubius Petite and this is Boost Philander Wavy Green. So those will look really nice on there. So we can glue those on and get this piece at least in the tank and then I can see what I want to do next. Right, there we go. See how that looks in the tank. The moment of truth. Oh, this is so hard one-handed and trying to film at the same time can't remember quite how I had it. Yeah, there's something like that. Let's just hold it in there a minute just to get a look at it. That looks cool, really like that. Nice, okay, time to get the other piece wrapped and done as well. Right, there's the second piece in. It's amazing how much the moss transforms the wood, isn't it? So it's actually starting to look really interesting already. That flickering's really annoying me. There we go. Um, remember, we've still got the moss stones that I took out to go in the foreground as well quite dark in that area there, but that's all right. That means we can put some crypts or something on the bottom that like to have a shaded area. Uh, gonna put some boost at the top. Um, I'll just do a time-lapse now and just get on with it, to be honest, because we're gonna be here all night otherwise. Right, as I'm sure you guys are aware already by now with the amount of videos I keep adding it in, this light's far too bright for this aquarium just after set up. So I will be adding the duck of the weed into the top. I know some of you hate it, I still love it, but it might not be permanent. It's just, just, to, uh, just to keep that light intensity down a little bit just whilst all the plants are trying to settle in. Okay guys, well it's usually at this point where I sort of do some little fade away and then a nice cinematic view of the tank. But every time I seem to do that, this, the analytics on YouTube has shown me that you all seem to click off. So instead of doing that, this time we'll just spin the camera around and uh, we'll take a look at the tank together. And here it is. Already look, Captain's performing for us. He seems to love it in here. There's loads of little nooks and crannies around the back here for him to hide into. And sometimes I won't see him for hours, but that's all right, it's his tank. Um, so obviously I've got my bed of duckweed on the top, which I think looks really cool, especially from here, look. Now let me turn off this big light. There we go. So that's how it looks. And if I'm sat back over here, which is on my table, well, you can't really see, but <laughs> yeah, it's just a really nice tank now. I really like it. Probably will make some more adjustments because the height of the, uh, the rock and the wood is almost at the height of the duckweed and it just gets all tangled in and bits come down. So I might take out this rock here to just bring everything down a bit lower and maybe push these stones down a bit more. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with that. It looks sort of like a, a beach, like a tropical beach. You know the film, The Beach with Leonardo DiCaprio? This reminds me of that film. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It's nice and simple. It's just a few rocks really, isn't it? And just um, some moss on the wood and then the boost Boost Philandra down in the bottom corner there. We've got the Anubius on the wood there. 
these don't, um, if you guys don't know what these are, these are called epiphyte plants and it means that you don't actually have to put them in soil or sand and you can just attach them to the wood and when you do that they just pull nutrients from the water column and grow nicely. So that's a nice easy option if you don't want to spend a load of money on aquasol and you just want to use sand like this sand which doesn't have any nutrients in but obviously the mosses that are on those rocks don't require nutrients from the sand they require it from the water column so all good. Quite similar to be fair with the Monte Carlo grows sort of it has roots but it can it can work without being planted and with being planted so that's good those stem plants at the back are really fast growing limnophilia that pulls out excess nutrients really quickly from the water which means that we should stay algae free i'm hoping so i mean because it's quite a, a bright light this little light we've got here so this light is from all pond solutions it's just a 310 millimeter so it's not actually designed for the 300 but I just found if I just put one of these holders in, look, and it just, because the metal bars that like lock in come to about halfway. So you can see, look, it just holds it perfectly. So yeah, it's almost like it, it's designed for this tank, which it, it wasn't because the 300 is quite new to all bond solutions. And these lights have been around for a while. I think they're more for their 400 um, nano tanks, but still, yeah, I, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And if you have, always be sure to click like, click subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, leave comments because I try and reply to as many comments as I can. That's getting tough nowadays because, I mean, in a day, the Christmas tree tank, which you've just done, has had like 400 comments. So I'm struggling to keep up. But I'm doing my best, okay? But if I do miss you, I'm sorry. But yeah, leave a comment if you can. And uh, click subscribe, guys. See you later.